My family has enjoyed this Toto K300 washlet for a year, and I wanna break down what we have loved and not loved about this incredible washlet. Well, let's get into it. Off the bat, one of my favorite parts about it is that it is more streamlined for a bidet seat. So many are huge on the back, and that is because this has continuous water instead of a water tank. So it makes it so it can be a much slimmer style. And all you need to do to install it is connect it to your water and then you have to find a place to plug it in. <laughs> We've plugged it in in the vanity right next to it. We just had to drill a hole in the bottom so we could run the cord. So definitely don't get one of these if you don't have power near your toilet. I think hands down everyone's favorite thing about this toilet is the warm seat. And we keep our seat warm and you have all the controls you can imagine on this remote. This is the front that you use while you're using the toilet. And this is the back where you have more customized settings. So this is the toilet seat. We have it on hot and you definitely have a range you can choose, but every single person that comes to our home loves sitting on this seat. You also can control the water temp. And what's incredible about this is the water temp will hold the entire time. It will start and stay at that temperature. There's no surprising cold moments. It is continuous water. And finally, you can control the heat of the air at the end that dries you, and you can choose again from low, medium, or high heat. Then it has a variety of eco modes, and this it does automatically, but you can also do it manually. This is to clean the wand. So I'll show it to you right now. The wand actually self cleans every time before and after you use the toilet. And what that means is it will wash itself to make sure there's nothing on it and it's super clean. As for using the toilet, you get used to this really fast. This is for cleaning your bum. You can just spray it or do a lighter poof of spray. This is for the ladies. This is to dry you. This has it oscillate back and forth, and this has it kind of do high, low pressure, kind of bursts of water. And this again is that e-clean button, so you can have it clean on this side as well if you want to clean the wand more. And then down here, you have controls over water pressure and where it's spraying. So you really have a lot of control. And in the end, you have two fixed settings. So if you've figured out exactly what you want here, you can fix it to one or two, so you always know what you want. So for me, I prefer one, and a few of our other family members, specifically the kids, prefer two. Now let me show you it's spraying. There's two key pieces to gain it to spray. One is it has this motion detector that knows if you're here or not, and another is weight on the seat. So let me see if I can get this to go. I'm gonna put a bunch of weight on it. And I can tell that it's recognizing me because it's making noises and it's doing its pre-mist, which means it mists the bowl and then it cleans the wand. And this will make it so nothing really sticks to the walls or the wand as everything is pre-moistened. And now I'm going to have it spray the bum. And I'm gonna put my hand down to stop it. And now it is spraying my hand and I can control that with oscillations and I can always stop it by hitting this black button at the top. And that's letting it know I'm finished. My hand is clean. And then you can also do the air dryer. Just hit this air. And now it is spraying very, very warm air directly up. It's gonna spray your backside first and then your front area. I have found as a lady, it takes about two minutes to be fully, fully dry. And for our family, we mostly use this to reduce the amount of toilet paper. We don't actually get rid of toilet paper by using this. It's mostly for the pre-cleaning. Now that my weight's off the seat, it's doing two things. It's gonna clean itself again to make sure it's clean for next time and there's nothing on the wand. And you can hear a deodorizer going. It's actually sucking all the smell into it right now. So it keeps the air cleaner. And then with that deodorizer, it does actually have a catch on the side. 
and this is the filter. And as you can see, I need to clean out my filter. So that's a little gross, but that's something that's easy to clean. It's catching anything gross that it needs to get out of the toilet. As for cons, one of the main ones I have with it is about cleaning. It's really quite easy to keep all of this clean, but I do find that there are these lines between the plastic molding on the toilet seat in particular, and those are a pain to clean. You either have to use like a nail file or you can get a toothbrush in there, but they are easy places to catch grossness. So that's something to keep in mind. Another one is that while this is self-cleaning, it can get a little gross underneath there. So you do want to open up these flaps and scrub those from time to time. But really, that's not too bad. But it's really not that bad, just something to be aware of. And my other issue with it, which is really not a complaint, but more of a heads up, is because it requires weight to turn on and off. A couple times one of my kids has thought it's not working for them because they will often sit on one side or the other or kind of be standing up when they're trying to use it. But as soon as we explain to them that they have to be sitting completely on the toilet for it to work, we've had no issue. So if you have kids and one of these and your kid tells you it's not working, make sure that they are sitting on it properly first. Now, the one final part I want to show you is that if you do want to remove this, it's actually exceptionally easy. There's just a button on the side. And if you push that and pull forward, it will come completely off the toilet. So you can clean fully if you need to. And then to put it back on, you just slide it back into place and it locks back in really fantastic. So overall, I am so in love with this bidet. It is exceptionally high quality, which is expected from the Toto brand. This is in the mid range for Toto's. You can get lower priced ones. They often are the ones with the tanks on the back. And there are obviously ones that are much fancier than this one, but this is that perfect middle ground and my family loves it so much. You really can't go wrong with the Toto K300.